The actions that the government of India took this week are themselves contrary to international law. The government of India decided to unilaterally revoke the diplomatic immunity of 40 Canadian diplomats in India. This is a violation of the Vienna Convention governing diplomacy. This is them choosing to contravene a very fundamental principle of international law and diplomacy. It is something that all countries in the world should be very worried about. And this is putting aside the allegations we made of a serious violation of international law uh, with the alleged killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil that the Indian uh, government could have been involved in. This is a matter, putting that aside, that all countries should be concerned about. The government of India decided to cancel, to revoke the diplomatic protections of 40 diplomats working in Canada, they're working in India. This is something that has far-reaching consequences for the diplomatic world that I know many, many countries are very worried about. But it also has very real impacts on the millions of people who travel back and forth between India as students, as family members, for weddings, for, uh, for businesses, for the growing trade ties between our countries. The Indian government is making it unbelievably difficult for life as usual to continue for millions of people in India and in Canada. And they're doing it by contravening a very basic principle of diplomacy. This is something that could, should concern everyone, but it's something that has me very concerned for the well-being and, and, and um, happiness of millions of Canadians who trace their origins to the Indian subcontinent. Um, good morning, Kamal Hamidu, the Canadian press. Um, Israel's government has voted to destroy Hamas. Um, Canada's own ambassador to the UN Bob Ray has also said that Hamas has to be destroyed. Is that the position of your own government? And if so, what support is Canada providing for 